warrior. Tonight you are getting audio only, or maybe it's the morning, depends when you're listening to this, because I am in an undisclosed location. And um, I wanted to get a couple of thoughts out to you that are most important. Now, I'm not going to be uh, uh, begging you. Well, maybe I will be. Please subscribe to our Warriors YouTube channel. Please follow us, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you can do. Every bit helps. We are trying to share information about the protection of children, families, and all people in the United States with you. Things you may not be hearing, probably aren't hearing on other media outlets. We do our work in Albany, the state capital. I live in New York and also in Washington, D.C. We do a lot of work policy-wise to get things going, and you know how tough that is. But I want to start with something, and I'm just going to say I was thinking about something. The place to be is right here. It is a YouTube channel or streaming or something because I kept thinking about that old song, and I date myself, but some of you out there may may recognize this. Video killed the radio star. I've had radio programs, and uh, one of them, the owner of the station, died, unfortunately, and he was a great believer in the Warriors, and his son then got rid of the station, sold the building, sold the business. That was that. Then I was on uh, another radio station out of Australia, and then they were never really that happy with I was always talking about, uh, for the most part, a lot of protections for children. And I incorporated things around the world as well, but uh, they never quite understood me with the kids. And then guests would come on. It could be about politics. It could be about, and they would invariably, always, always, uh, for the most part, mention something about the border, trafficking, kids, online safety. And those were the guests. I, I didn't ask them about these questions. So you see, there's a lot going on here. So I say video is the place to be. Now, how ironic, because I'm giving you audio only tonight. Um, but this is where it's at. This is where it's at so that we can share thoughts, we can share comments. And, you know, I want you to comment. Please go to the comment section because I want to hear from you. I promise I will do a better job in answering you. But there's just so much going on. Now, a couple of things. I don't throw out those words that everybody's getting a lot of clicks and likes on, you know, pedophile or accuse people of things. And we don't do that in the Warriors. We give you a fact-based information. First, I want to talk about something here in New York. And hear me out. Don't turn this off because you're not in New York, because this is coming to your backyard, to your town, city, state soon. This coming Tuesday, which will be May 14th, we are going We have a bipartisan coalition here in New York called the New Yorkers for the Equality Model NYFEM, N-Y-F-E-M. And we are going up to Albany en masse, and we are going to meet with our elected officials that our taxes pay to tell them what is needed. Let me break it down. It's called the Equality Model in New York State to keep people safe, to keep children safe your children, your grandchildren, to keep all of us safe. A quality model. Hear me out. We have legislation right now, bipartisan, you know, everything we work on, human rights abuses, bipartisan, called the Sex Trade Survivors Justice and Equality Act. And it is sponsored by Senator Liz Krueger, a Democrat, and Assemblymember Pam Hunter, a Republican, and we're all getting along swimmingly. We are going back to Albany to let them know This is the only way, the equality model, to keep people safe. It is if people want to exit the sex trade, we will give them the resources. We will give them the strategies. We will give them the services. We will hold responsible those who cause harm. Pimps, traffickers, traffickers, brothel owners, sex buyers, illicit spa owners, anybody This is the only thing that makes sense. I can't tell you the amount of people that want the equality model in New York State. Now, of course, you never hear about it because you only hear from a lot of loud mouths on the other side that are saying, my body, my choice, my body, this, I can do what I want. Well, we're not talking about adults. Go go do what you want. 
We are talking specifically about marginalized communities. We have studies showing 97, 98% was the new study I just heard of, that um, people in prostitution are forced, coerced in the sex trade. They don't want to be there. That is a form of human trafficking. We're also talking about children, 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 warrior, nothing with a child. This is illegal minors and the demand is for children. So we want the equality model. Very simple. If we allow this whole sex trade to flourish and it becomes legalized in New York State, because that is what is wanted by a lot of people, I I'm telling you, we will see children behind glass windows in Times Square being sold. This is what we are talking about. We're not talking about those few people that want to go and they want to, you know, sell themselves. They want to make money. Go do it. But what we're talking about is something that is needed. The Sex Trade Survivors Justice and Equality Act. And also to support survivors. We are part of a coalition. And the coalition has a wonderful member. His name is Christian Eduardo. And he has come here. He was sex trafficked, HIV positive. He was prostituted. You name it. He is a, a, just a gorgeous uh, human being who has now, let's fast forward several years, making it his life's mission to go out there as a survivor. Talk about this. Promote what is safe, okay? And he just put a post up. And, you know, it just, this is what algorithms are good because lots of times I don't, I don't see a lot of things. They just don't come my way. And I don't have a chance to really go through and look for things and check up on people. And I see this. And he posts a beautiful story when he first came to the country and was homeless and trying to be in shelters. And we know the nightmares with shelters and He would spend his days in libraries all over town. He said, I could drink water. I could use the bathroom. I could read books all about the United States, all about the world. I could learn things. I could use the internet to try to find myself services. This guy who came through Mexico is an outstanding member of our community. And he'll be with us when we take our train up to Albany this Tuesday. And we tell our elected officials, our legislators, we want the equality model. We are tired of people being abused and used. What is the argument here? Aren't you sick of it? We know all this stuff is bad. Like we just need solutions now, common sense. And I know the way I think and other people, there's more of us than them. So I I want all of you to know about this because this may be New York State, but they consider New York State, if they pass a law legalizing prostitution, it is really legalizing, now think about this, brothel owning, pimps and traffickers. And that can't be because they will want to traffic more people to fill a demand. More people will be brutalized, more children. They're looking at New York State as a leader. If it's passed here, then it's coming to your backyard, so get ready. It is completely frightening, and we've spoken about this a lot on The Warriors. But I want you to understand what this is really about, because there's so much noise, there's so much distraction. But I want every warrior to understand, as we sit upon the eve of Mother's Day, what does mother really mean? Mothers are warriors. We must, now all people, but right now, because we're talking about Mother's Day, must stand up for our women and our girls. Where are the feminists? We kind of allow this, this sex trade to allow our beautiful children to be abused. Don't you feel like, I mean, I know it's the internet. I see so many stories every single day of children being abused of teachers in schools being abused. And I know because we have access now to the internet and it's people consider it salacious and I guess it gets clicks and likes, but it's inundating society, this normalization of the sexualization of children. So I ask you, our mothers are warriors. 
our girls and women deserve respect, not just be dumped into the sex trade because that's all they might have or grow up around or know. We need to help them. We need to do better. It's 2024. You can no longer sit on the sidelines. We're going to be doing an actual video tomorrow. But because I can't tell you where I am, I can't turn on the camera. So I'm leaving it like this. But I want to thank all of you who follow along, who write the nice comments, who share, who donate. Remember, all of our monies that we collect go into our educational programs, which we do for free, and also to support survivors. The story I just told you about Christian going to libraries, and he's the nicest, smartest, trying to help so many people. And we don't have enough men and boys that are standing up defending women and girls or the men and boys. The boys are kind of the forgotten ones where right now sextortion is ravishing 14 to 17 year olds. It's a big business coming. The servers are in Nigeria. They are tricking our boys who are too embarrassed to come forward to say they sent a nude image. They thought it was a girl. Next thing is, it's some, some guy who's demanding $500. We've had children kill themselves over $5 because of the embarrassment. We want our kids. They're seeing it all anyway on the internet. Even if they're not looking, the algorithms directed towards them, dangerous content. Let the information come from you. Let you be that warrior that creates a junior warrior in your home, in your community. Start sharing the news. Brush up on everything. Go to lindswarriors.org. Look for our listings. Look for our take actions. It's up to each and every one of us. Tomorrow, we're going to have a wonderful video for Mother's Day. I promise I'll be back on camera. But I want all of you to understand about, look in the body of this video, about this equality model. We cannot allow this. We're in an election year. Nobody's really talking about this. Sure, sure, we're talking a bit, or some networks are about the border, the open borders. That's another thing. Where are all the kids? 500,000 unaccompanied minors in the last um, several years lost. I'm quoting something from about 2015. So we go back about nine years. We know the numbers are much higher. Where are the kids? Vulnerable, sex trafficked, labor trafficked. We don't know. Nobody's asking. We need to ask these questions. Hug your kids. Kiss your kids. Adore moms. They are the backbone of the family. Let us come together. Community creates change. Remember, we can do this, but we need to do it together. Equality model. Follow along. Keep your ears and eyes open. Protect your children. Lindswarriors.org. Remember, each and every day, go out and be a warrior.